back, guys, to Factorio Town Season 3 with me, Massive Dynamic. We are working in the towns today on a new project, and that is to build a new fueling station right here in the south. As we talked about a couple episodes ago, the reason is that we need to start expanding the towns. We need, we need a bunch of more towns, and they're probably going to be in this general direction. I went out this way exploring a little bit and found that there's a lot of room out here. It looks like we're not on any kind of a small island. I'm, I thought maybe this water might come down here and cut us off, but it didn't. So we have lots of room over here to expand. And I think we're going to need our next town is probably going to be um, for blue circuits, I think. Um, we'll have to make acid. We'll have to make batteries. We have a lot of projects ahead. But key to that is going to be having access to to fuel for our trains uh, because right now the only fuel station that we have is way up north way up here right I think it's this one right here is our fuel station yep that's it and we're actually borrowing some of the fuel from there to run our power over there at bitterness um, because we were running into some major power issues due to the fact that our coal uh, we have like four trains running coal right now, I believe. Maybe five? I think it's four, though. Uh, no, oh, six. Six trains running coal. So it was having a hard time. Bitterness was having a hard time keeping the power on because the coal wasn't arriving fast enough. So I actually, what I did was I built a small power plant at Bitterness um, right there just to keep Bitterness running at full speed so that in case the power goes out or goes low in the rest of the towns, bitterness is on its own grid. So it's not even connected to the, uh, not, I'm sorry, not at bitterness, but at the coal mine. So the coal mine, as you can see here, this is the one I was talking about, this little power plant. And yeah, so this is not connected to the main grid. As you can see here, it's on its own so that the trains load as fast as possible at all times. I even put in a couple of stack inserters over there to make sure that the trains load a little bit faster. So that's where we are up to there. As far as getting you up to date with our current situation. So here we are somewhere right here. And I think I have, I have some track on me and I have some signals and I brought my backpack with me just in case I need more stuff. So we just have to make a few connections here get this all done and then we can start fueling things up and making way for new expansion into the far western reaches of the map um, fortunately there was only one small outpost of biters over there and I was able to deal with them with the flame tank, which was kind of fun. I probably should have recorded that. You guys might have liked to have seen a bunch of uh, a bunch of biter roasts, but I, I didn't record it. Sorry about that. Maybe I'll do it again next time we run into biters. Although I think that our next vehicle that we build is probably going to be a, a laser tank because, if I remember correctly, I think we researched a laser tank. Uh, no, that's a mining vehicle. One of these. Oh, I should look at things that I've already researched. And there it is. No, that's a mining vehicle. Uh, I don't know where. In the list, may maybe I didn't. Or maybe I'm not seeing it. I don't know. I thought I researched it. Maybe it's ahead. I don't know. Anyway, uh, at some point we will have a laser tank. And when I do, I'll definitely show that one to you guys just like I did the flame tank but I'll maybe I'll try to use it in combat and if it's an AI vehicle I'm not positive it is uh, but if it is that would be kind of cool to try some AI combat I haven't done that at all yet I've been using the AI vehicles only for basically for clearing the uh, wood from um, wherever we need to get rid of all these trees I'll send the mining vehicles in kind of first to clear the the bulk of the wood and then i'll come in with other means to uh finish up getting rid of all the trees so let's see we got a couple of pieces missing right here oh, one more there and looks like we got all our signals in 
Yep, and then we have this little stretch right here. I'm not sure if that train is going to go anywhere. Or... No, it is on automatic, but it's not going anywhere. I'll just take that with me. We don't need it at the moment. So this... This here goes across here. And then we'll have to build all that track out there, which we probably will do in this episode too, in preparation for more uh, work in the future. So right now we can probably grab, let's see, what's my inventory look like? I have some belts and inserters. I have, I have some stuff. Let's grab a few more belts, I think. Uh, maybe a couple hundred more belts. That should get us, that should be okay for what we need for the immediate pro uh, project that we're working on. So we will, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the solid fuel from here and we're just gonna take it across out of here and then across the tracks and up there. So this is gonna be basically an extension of this town, I guess, kind of, in a way. Let me see, where are we going? We're gonna go straight across there. So yeah, we can do right here, this will be fine. Should be good, like this. And then, I think I wanna come, maybe, maybe go, oops, wrong button. Maybe go up here and then go in between. No, wait a minute, I don't wanna do that because we need power. That's a bad idea, let's change that. We'll just move over a little bit. So we'll take this power over here. Ouch, I'm stuck on a, that. Okay, there. Okay, now if we bring that into right there, that should be fine. Okay, and then we can bring this. Wait a minute. Bring it. I hate when it does that. I understand why it does it, but I don't like it anyway. Okay, so then we were gonna go something like this. We're not gonna standardize this placement, I don't guess. We're just gonna place them like that. Okay, um, so a couple of rocks on the ground. Okay, and then we are going to standardize this. Um, so we're going to do something like, yeah, this and this, that should be fine with a chest here. And we should be able to keep, I don't know, three slots of fuel is probably plenty. And then if we do an underground and that, and then we can copy that. Place it right there. Now, oh, the thing I did not think about was where the power poles are gonna situate. I guess I need them to cover the spot. Okay, that, it was just that one missing was the only, uh, the only one that wasn't working. So then from there, we should be able to copy this whole thing like this. Yep. And there, and we're gonna leave that open for possible future expansion because depending on the number of trains, we're, we're using a lot more trains in this uh, Towns Series 3, Season 3, than we did in, in Season 2 because we are allocating one train to each project instead of sharing trains. Okay, now this is all good, except why are we out of fuel here? Let's see what's happening in here. We have uh, lubricant. We have, are we out of oil? We have water, we have oil. We have, oh, we're gas. Okay, we're full on gas, um, which is pretty normal because we haven't started to use the gas yet. Um, but that is, that's actually fine. What we're gonna do in the temporary, um, just to make sure that these get filled up, is we're gonna build a few more tanks. 
And I think that, do I have tanks here? I don't know, but I can grab a little bit of iron. I have, never mind, I'm gonna build, I have enough to build like six tanks, that'll be fine. We'll just use tanks for the temporary until we start using up that gas. And then once we, once we do that, then the, that entire um, problem will go away. So we'll just store this We'll just store this gas right here for now. We can even do it just like this. That'll be fine. And we don't need that. Okay. Yeah, that'll give us lots of storage for gas. Everything else, will, everything in here gets turned into gas anyway, except for what little bit goes to lubricant. And the only thing that we're shipping out from here is lubricant and gas. So that, that'll work out just fine for all that stuff. Okay, so that pretty much takes care of this town, except that we have to... Uh, let's see, do I have... How much concrete do I have in here? I probably need to bring concrete into this... Into my backpack. I don't have much in there, so we're just going to pick that up. I think we're done with that now. I have a little bit of concrete on me. I don't think I have enough for my, let's see. I have in my low, wait, wrong book. I need to go to my game blueprints. No, no, it is my blueprints. Tattoos, color tattoos. Yes, I want the fuel logo right there. And we'll put one down and then we'll come back later with the proper types of concrete and flooring items, whatever. Uh, maybe we'll move that guy over just a space or two so that we can see the logo better. Okay, and then we're just going to call this... We're, we're actually going to name it probably after this one, which is Baton Rouge. Yeah. Since Baton Rouge is an oil base anyway, we'll, we'll call it Baton Rouge Fuel. So we'll do that. There, and we should be able to copy that and paste that on all of our stops. Okay, and then we can start to use that for fueling our trains in the future. And that will conclude that, that piece of the work that we needed to get done for this episode. Now the next thing we need to do is get our track built. Oop, wait a minute. Didn't even see my flame tank hiding in the shrubberies there. Let's move that out of the way. Actually, I could probably pick it up about now. Yeah, let's just pick it up and then we have some track. Hold on. Let me grab some more track and stuff. Track and um, signals out of here. We have tons of track. Grab all that. We have signals. I think I have more. I have another box of signals, I believe. There they are. Yeah, let's grab all those. That should be plenty of signals. Okay, and then we can pick our backpack up and go back to work. So basically, we're just going to drive along the road here. By road, I mean the uh, train track. And if I that to go that way. There we go. And then if I do this part, I have to go a little bit slow so that the bots can place my line. We have a few extraneous signals. I think because I, I placed and replaced the tracks, uh, the track blueprints a couple times trying to figure out exactly the position that I wanted them in. And apparently I changed my mind on the exact position once or twice. Not a big deal. It's all fixed now. Everything's good now. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to drive along here. And, okay, that thing is just grabbing every time. There we go. We're just going to drive along here and build this track and figure out where our next town is going to go. Which, like I said, we need acid. 
So maybe we build acid and batteries in the same town. I think that's a good idea. We can take the... Okay, the robots are slowing down. We can take the, um, obviously the gas from Baton Rouge and we'll bring in the iron from our new iron mine. And then we'll need some copper, which will come from fur cop right here. Let's see what our, why are we looking there? We have 2 million copper there, so we should have plenty of copper. Uh, as long as we can keep up with demand, which I think we can, because that one is iron plates. Iron plates. What's, how many, how many copper plate trains do we have so far? We have three. And so they are not very busy right now, but of course we're not doing science at the moment. Uh, we also have some copper available at Slick, but it is going strictly to red circuits. So we may have to look for a copper mine um, smeltery in, in the future, in the near future. But for now, we're looking for a location for our... Our batteries and such. So I think maybe... Well, let's, I'll tell you what, let's run this a little bit farther. I think we're just going to run on foot here and we'll come back to the vehicle later. With uh, some of the bonuses that I got from whichever mod, I forget which mod it is, that, that uh, gives me these researches, advanced crafting speed, advanced mining speed. It also gives me advanced running speed, uh, crafting speed, reach, and inventory size. And movement speed, there we go. Uh, whichever mod that is, quality of life, it's quality, I guess that's it, quality of life research, or or is that, anyway, it, it makes me go faster than the vehicles anyway, so it's, the point was that um, it's just as fast to go on foot as it is to use that car, probably even faster to go on foot actually, truth be told, with all the upgrades that I've research so far. I'm just going to run this track out like this. And then and then I'll come back to Okay. I'll have to stop right here because we're getting into un undiscovered country. And we'll let the bots put in There we go. We'll let the bots put in the um power poles and the signals and then we'll figure out where we want to put put our town I think actually pretty close to where I'm standing right now is where we're gonna want to put our intersection or maybe maybe right here that way we can take advantage of that iron mine we won't have to bring iron in we'll just uh, smelt our own iron for batteries and acid that might be a better way we'll have to bring water in though that's something that i didn't think about was water we might have to have um water delivered maybe we'll get water delivered from baton rouge that makes sense we could add one more we can use this lane here that we're not using for water output and then that will give us what we need so yeah let's go back to this spot right here and we'll call that the location of our new battery town. So what we do is we grab the intersection blueprint, kind of figure out where we want it. I, yeah, I think pretty much right where I'm standing is a good spot. So we're just going to get rid of these local signals here. And then we can plop our blueprint down. And that way we don't have to worry about... Let me shut my robots off first so that they don't start doing that thing. Um, and then that way we can place that without having to worry about the position of um, of the signals. So then we grab our our town blueprint, which is this one, and we're just going to put it right. I guess we'll put it. We'll line it up here. Actually, maybe we will use our straight track. Cause it's pretty good ways out there. We'll put it like right here. Right about there. 
right there. Okay, that'll be good. And then we'll grab our, so you guys will get to see kind of how I do this. So we'll throw our mining machine down, we'll give it some fuel, not that much fuel. And then we just make sure of our paths. We're gonna add a new path. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start one right here and we'll do it from map, map view. And we'll start like right here and then we'll go on in about this far and then over and back out probably something like this and then we just oh wait a minute then we just have to the way this works is kind of annoying every time you set a path you have to set each of these parameters we want it to take a sh straight line as straight as possible and then you have to save changes and you have to do that for each position along the path save changes and there, there's no apparently I haven't found a way anyway to set this as your default okay so that's my path and then you grab your remote control you grab your vehicle and you shift click on the path and it will start to clear the way so I'm gonna let that work and we're gonna call that an episode for now guys and we'll come back next time and we'll build this new battery town right here battery and acid that's what we're going to put here so you know what let me put a little marker on the map because you know me i will forget if i don't tag it i will forget about it so i'm going to put that right there so that next time we come back we will be working on our battery and acid town and you guys can be a part of that so i do thank you so much for watching i hope you're enjoying the series if you are please leave a like and a comment let me know what you think of the series, and we will talk to you next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.